After VCU lost to nationally ranked Cincinnati on December 19th to drop to 5 and 5 this season, first year head coach Will Wade sounded optimistic in the post game press conference. I sat in here after the Cincinnati game and we lost, and you guys probably thought, golly, he thought he, he, we must have won the way he was in here talking. Like, I, I live in reality. I knew then we're moving, we're, this, this train's we're on the right track. But after a 20 point win over Duquesne on Wednesday pushed VCU's winning streak to nine games. Wade showed that he was not just being optimistic on December 19th. We can sit here and look happy because we won, or we can look at reality. And I choose to look at reality. A lot of people don't like reality. This is Wade's reality. He's a perfectionist who knows where the team is and where he wants them to go. We're, we're not into pumping sunshine now. I mean, you, you got to live in reality or it's going to catch you. Do you want to win the league or not? You want to keep winning or not? I mean, you can't get complacent. You got to keep the pedal to the metal. And, and that's not going to get it done. Not going to get it done. And I'm probably one of the few people that thinks that. But guess what? My opinion matters. In his opinion, the Rams need to refocus on the defensive end. The reality is that it's not, we're not going to score 94 points every night. All right? At some point, you got to sit down and be able to guard and get stops and get some tough rebounds. And I got after him, like we just lost. And while the Rams enjoyed another home win at the Seagull Center, they clearly heard their coach's locker room message. They just, they just outplayed us. If we was at their place, the game probably would have went differently. And so we, we kind of allowed it to happen. We got to be able to outplay everybody because from here on out, we're going to get everybody's best. Wade is happy with the team's offense. VCU has scored 80 or more points in seven of the nine games during the winning streak. You know, we got guys who can make plays, guys who can make shots, and when you got that, it's good. I'm not calling as many sets. We're just playing out of our motion, our ball screen motion, and we, we kind of pre-read everything in the scouting report for them, and, and they've executed it really well. It's flowing. I mean, a lot of it is just us being more connected as a team, and we're all on the same page, and we all have the same mindset of what we want to do, so just keeping it going. The shooting, that Melvin shooting with so much confidence in Brooks, and Moai Cox has really developed as an interior threat. Um, now it's choose your poison inside out, and then they play so quickly. You know, when they turn the ball over, they turn it into points. And now you got to guard three things: you got to guard conversion, you got to guard the interior, and you got to guard three-point line. So I think they're they are a better offensive team right now. Now Wade wants to make the Rams a better defensive team. You know, we got we got to guard better. We got to guard better for 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 the entire game. You know, we talk about giving great effort and competing and stuff like that. We got to do it. It's my job to push, push guys to be their best. I'm not going to let us settle for mediocrity. And uh, hopefully they got that message. They know I care, care about them. I love them. I want this team to be successful. And that's the lens I look through everything from.